Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin. I'd like to invite to the stage Mr. Moshe Kantor, co-chairman of the European Council on Tolerance and Reconciliation. We are here to pay our tribute of gratitude and respect to the presidents of the Republic of Serbia and the Republic of Croatia for their outstanding contribution to ending the war and restoring peace in the former Yugoslavia. I'm deeply satisfied that today's ceremony takes place a few days after the Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to the European Union. There could be no better explanation why are we organizing this ceremony here in the European Parliament. The awarding of the European Medal of Tolerance to these two great men today is a sign that the deepest division can and must be overcome even in the hardest of circumstances. For that, both of you had to face great challenges in putting the past behind and to focus on progress and on the future. Members of the European Parliament have a special responsibility for reminding the peoples of Europe about these tragic events. The European Union was founded on the commitment that war in Europe must be prevented and that reconciliation of arch enemies is the best way to ensure peace. The awarding of the Nobel Prize for Peace, you mentioned it, Alexander, to the European Union on Friday last week is the most significant reminder of the powerful message of reconciliation. So much progress has been made. Croatia is on the very doorstep of the European Union. And don't be worried. One or another remarks of the last days will not prevent that you join the Union in June, in July next year. And Serbia is already a candidate for membership. Thanks to you, boys, a candidate for membership. The region is on the right track, and both of the men deserve the prize. Thank you very much. Our generation, whose life was marked by the war and dissolution of the former country, has the responsibility to do everything it can in order a war never to happen again. This recognition confirms once more the dedication of the two of us to the process of reconciliation, dialogue, promotion of tolerance and a mutual understanding, not only between our two countries, but in the Balkans as a whole. <laughs>